for five long years. I thought you were my man, but I found out I'm just a link in your chain. You got me where you want me. I ain't nothing but a fool. You treated me mean. Oh, boy, you treated me cruel. Chain, chain, chain. Chain, chain, chain. Chain, 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 chain of food. Now every chain has got a wiggle link. I might be weak, child, but I gave you your strength. My mama said, leave you alone. My papa said, come on home. My doctor said, take it easy. Oh, but my loving is much too strong. I'm added to your chain, chain, chain. Chain, chain, chain. Chain, 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 chain of food. Well, one of these mornings, that chain is going to break. But up until that day, I'm going to take all I can take. I said, chain, chain, chain. Chain, 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 chain of food. Thank you. <laughs> I love that song for so many reasons. I mean, who doesn't love a bit of Aretha? But it was that song that took me to the grand finals of X Factor. <laughs> I come from a great musical heritage. I come from a long line of singers, performers and musicians. My great-grandfather, Douglas Pitt Jr., settled in the Cairns area in 1905 from the Torres Strait Islands. He was a sea captain but he was also a noted musician in the Yarraba Brass Band and the Yarraba Churches with his wife, Myra Campbell Hopkins, who was Kalkadun Afghan. My grandfather, Arthur Pitt, was also a singer and performer with my grandmother, Agnes Noble Pitt, in the Tropical Troubadours, which was an indigenous performing act that toured around the Cairns and Hinterland area. And my grandfather's sister, Dulcie Pitt, she was a distinguished jazz, blues, and folk singer. She toured extensively in Britain and Australia between the 1940s and 1970s. And she was also the first indigenous singer to release a vocal album in 1962 called The Blues Down Under. As a small child, I grew up in Cairns, and I attended the local Full Gospel Pentecostal Church. And I loved going to church here. This was my music school. This is where I learned how to sing, how to pronounce lyrics, how to keep with tempo, how to sing in falsetto and alto. The congregation were my relations, they were my family. What a better school could I have gone to my church. And this is the one lesson I learnt about singing, was to sing with conviction. Because you know the Lord is watching. <laughs> he can see deep down in your soul. <laughs> he knows what your heart's feeling. So when you sing, you've got to sing with everything. 
And when you're a 10-year-old child hearing those words, I tell you what, they stay with you forever. <laughs> but that's the style I have today. So I, I suppose you're thinking with all that musical background and heritage that I would have taken singing up as a career. Well, I did have another passion. I had another love for looking after people. And so I pursued nursing. I studied a Bachelor of Nursing and became a registered nurse, and I've been doing that now for over 20 plus years. But in that time, I always missed my singing. I wasn't doing enough with it. I concentrated on being a mother and a wife, but the time came where I left my marriage and I moved back to Cairns to move in with my mum and dad, and they would help look after my kids while I went back to work as a nurse. But deep down inside, my spirit was crying out for its song line. I needed to sing again. There was always something missing. But then, <laughs> the X Factor comes to Cairns. And I say to myself, OK, old oh girl, <laughs> you've waited too long. This is, this is the time. It's now or never. I've just got to give it a go. So I took a sickie off work. Hopefully, my bus not looking. <laughs> and I went down to the mass auditions. And there I was, lined up, dressed up like plain Jane, for seven hours, waiting. People were going in and coming out, shaking that head, real sad face. Oh, good luck, they said to me, and I was like, oh, God. <sighs> well, look, I'll just give it a go, I said to myself. It doesn't matter if I don't get through, it's just the challenge of it. I'll be very, you know, happy with myself that I've given it a go. But when you look, little old me went in there, gave it the best shot I could, and I came out with a yellow card. <sighs> I got through, and I was into the next round of auditions. So, I was off to Sydney, where at the Sydney Convention Centre, there were 5,000 people waiting. And here I was at the back of the stage with the microphone on me, my baby girl on my hip, my three kids at my side, a camera crew in tow. And I was looking around, trying to find and ask the producers, where can I change my baby's nappy, please? I want to do this before I go on the stage. I don't want to be caught out. So all of a sudden, I hear a voice in the corner saying, are you ready, Rochelle? Are you ready to go on stage? And I go, oh, um, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Let's do it. And on that big, shiny black stage, I walked out. And it was silence. There were 5,000 people in that audience, but it was totally silent. And I stood in front of those celebrity judges. They were just looking at me, thinking, look at this tuck shop lady here. She's like a fish out of water. What's she doing? I was like, oh, I've just got to do this now. And I was acting really humble, <laughs> like I am normally. <laughs> that gammon way. Anyway, I get up on stage, and that music starts, and I go, chain, chain, chain! Next minute, that crowd went up, and they roared, and they got on their feet, and they were, I was like, hey, look out! <laughs> and the judges, too, their mouths were like, and that eyeball was open, and I, and I go, oh, okay, I must have done something all right. And they said to me, congratulations, Rochelle, you're into the next round. And I'm like, ah, oh, Las Vegas, Nevada, here I come. Da, 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 da. But that's New York, but it's America, you know <laughs> what I mean. I was just excited. I got through that round as well. I sang the song. You make me feel like a natural woman. You know, that beautiful Aretha song. And I got through. Back to Sydney I went. And there I was at Fox Studios, standing on stage, ready to sing my first live show in front of millions of people with the camera on, the audience packed. I had them deadly choreographed dancers around me and me and my deadly bling and my microphone walking down those stairs like this, 
It's all just a little bit of history repeating. And you know what? That show went off fantastic. It was a deadly show. And <sighs> what an experience. The next shows after that were fantastic as well. A star is born. <laughs> but then, something happened. In my earphones, the click track didn't come in on time, and I missed the start of the song, and then I forgot the words, and then it just went downhill from there. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> but that was it. I didn't get the votes to get through to the next show. And so, I was dropped, I was sent home. And all those people that were there doing my makeup and my hair and the editors and the producers that were there, they were all gone. But you know, music's in my DNA. Music's in my soul, music's in my spirit. I didn't let that get me down. I went back to Cairns and I made a few phone calls, did some gigs, one door opened, then another, and now I have a manager who looks after my music business. I've released an EP, Soul Mama and Black to Reality, which are online. And one thing that gets me is that I still, in all that time, have never left nursing. And I totally believe that music, song, healing and health go hand in hand together. And that's my life journey. That's my goal and aim, is to bring music together with health and education and healthy may, something that I call a bummer health yarning circle. This is something that I've done with my other colleagues that I nurse with. And this is something that I really believe in, bringing back that holistic health and healing Thank you very much. I believe in my people, Mother Earth's where I'm from. The struggle's always real, but the lessons keep us strong. And I believe our time is now, so go forth and don't be ashamed. Get up on your feet and have your say and play that game. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the turning of the world comes the rising of the waves. Is what you make of it Give thanks and praise the day And I believe our time is now So go forth and don't be ashamed Get up on your feet And have your say And play that game Cause I believe I believe I believe in you Yeah I believe I believe that my culture keeps a balance within And our freedom to practice should not be deemed a sin And I believe our time is now, so go forth and don't be shamed Get up on your feet and have your say and play that game What happened in the past will never be undone But give us time to heal all my wounded countrymen And I believe our time is now, so go forth and don't be shamed your feet and have your say and play that game Cause I believe, I believe, I believe in you Oh yeah, yeah I believe, I believe, I believe in you Woo! I, be I believe in you, do you believe
you believe in me too? I believe in the community. I believe in the family. Yeah. 